So uh, we have chapter 3, the self across various disciplines. So uh, first, the discipline that we discuss will be on the area of sociology. Okay, so man has always been what has always been a, a social nga being. We are not designed to be to be alone. Imagine ni mo, imong kamot, duwa ka buok, duwa ka tiil. It's actually a, a symbolic na representation of of you having to need other people you know, so that you no know, you cannot you cannot live alone you cannot isolate yourself from other people and you can't just say nga this is me kung madawat ninyo then so be it it dili then wala koy labot no actually na you kay labot no it's not about you no you are also part of a system of a bigger picture so you cannot say to yourself nga uh, I, you can isolate yourself you cannot isolate yourself from other people no? especially parents especially your family members no? you cannot isolate yourself from them you can't just say nga uh, wala ko ilabot kung sa isulti ni papa wala ko ilabot kung sa isulti ni mama you can't say nga wala ko ilabot sa isulti sa ubang tao because actually the thought nga isulti pa ka na actually na nakay paki no? so each of us experience ourselves as being a self we are aware of being someone with a past a present and a future all of which affect who we are no we are also aware of the distinct facets of our character that seems to have been constant since childhood no? that means who you are who you think you are is actually constant from childhood from the time that you were conscious to current no and what makes us the uh, individual and unique person that we are but as a self we are not only aware of inhabiting a distinct personal world but also distinct social and cultural worlds we operate in context of the internal and also the external no sending late okay na nakasulod na tanan now again we operate in both internal systems that's inside your mind and also the external system that is outside that's the social and the cultural nga environments we are who we are because of our relationship to others you cannot divorce that idea na ikaw and ang others are interrelated no because we are a mother or a son or a husband or a friend a student or a teacher we are also who we are through belonging to different communities no? and our membership of other group that reflect, construct, and sustain our identity. Again, it reflects our identity, it constructs our identity, and it sustains it. No? That means it reflects the values that we hold towards ourselves. It helps construct the character and attitude that we are still building towards a certain identity and it sustains the identity that we hold for the moment no example social worker you're a muslim you're a, you're a christian you're a, a political dissident a football fan or a biker or whatever you are you know whatever uh, affiliation that you put yourself into you're part of a community you're part of a family thus it helps reflect the values that you hold, constructs the attitudes and characters that uh, you're still butanta, you're still maintaining and constructing for your identity and it helps sustain the identity that you hold for yourself. If you say that you are a Christian, what actually what actually transpires is that you have to see a group of people of the same value. If you say you're a Muslim, you also have to to look for a community that holds a certain value the same as what you hold because you cannot just sustain yourself with what you have you have to grow no uh, that's why it's a christian tradition we have the church as a body of christ why because it helps reflect the, the values no and the and the dogma construct the character and sustain the identity within that certain affiliation within the within the certain belief system so that you know, and whatever even if 
outside of the religion nga topic still it helps that uh, three processes in creating himself you know? so the first to read that would be William James the idea of I and me the I would be uh, the self as a knower it's the core uh, idiosyncratic person and the me would be the self as a known by other people by other institutions by other individuals James divided the self as known into three main elements the material the social and the spiritual this is actually pertaining to the layers of the me you know wherein ang material ang pinaka outer social ang middle and spiritual ang core so material me would be the clothes that you wear you know uh, every every extra corporeal uh, material that you that you possess and that you have psychological possession on that's part of the material itself you know imong sanina imong apelido imong sapatos imong kwarto imong cellphone and why is this part of the me imagine if, imagine if na a stranger mo sulod sa imong kwarto manghilabot sa mga butang-butang dito no how would you feel you would feel what embarrassed and angry at the same time because wala ka kaila sa tao and that it is my room no if na imong hilabot sa imong cellphone nganong manghilabot man ka ako ama ng cellphone that's my cellphone there's actually what psychological nga ownership nga nadira nganong na may psychological ownership because na ay psychological nga and emotional nga investment with that with the phone with everything that you have you no know? even sa inyong mga uyab you no know? that's part of the material self akong uyab akong balay you no know? akong bike akong motor so there's the possession right there and if somebody uh, actually can in manghilabot ana nga butang or manaway for example sa wayo ng imong course or sa wayo ng imuhang uh, imuhang family name or even imuhang lugar nga gidakan no if sa wayo na siya what happens is that you would actually feel angry if somebody if you were if you were raised in Iligan City and ignore din nang ah, mga taga Iligan mga kuan mga so and so no you would feel offended not because nga uh, grabe jud ka ka patriotic but you have a psychological ownership towards sa lugar so that no and then we have the social self no the social self is the second layer no uh, it's who you are according sa how people recognize and see you no uh, and the idea there is you can't just divorce yourself from how others see you actually part na siya sa imong kwan sa imong growth as a person james argued no that it would be impossible to have a meaningful sense of one's self without the respect and concern of others imagine that it would be very impossible to have a meaningful meaningful sense of self without the respect and concern of other people you can't just say nga uh, i built this muna ni siya no but actually it matters a lot how people see you it matters a lot if they respect you if they put you on a in a good light if they talk well uh, say mo hang well katalikod ka no so that no that's actually a meaningful sense of self muna siguro ng uh, idea where in we get offended when when somebody you know uh when in git liba kunta no we get really offended even if it's not true because we want to respect no we can't just say nga ah, wala ko ipaki no i have seen so many posts sa facebook uh, uh, the idea was take it or leave it this is my personality whether you like it or not you take it or leave it, it, it it's actually not true you, know, you always want to be respected you always want the positive regard positive concern from other people anyway so uh the wala na appeal the spiritual self the spiritual self is actually the core uh the core idea that uh of the me wherein other ang gitawag na values and belief system imagine if ma if ma usap ang spiritual me all the other layers would also be changed because it holds the what the values and the belief system that 
one holds us to us uh, that the, the second series na to would be si George Herbert Mead no uh, according to Mead that uh, the self is actually growing in context no sa yahang social nga environment no? so he actually he actually supports the idea of the I no ni, ni uh, William James no uh, this, but according to me the self actually emerges based on what the social nga interactions that we have so mas tako daw ang impact sa me because uh, mas the more taga interact with others the more taga grow as a person no and these interactions mga good are not only we are not only a recipient in all of these interactions but rather uh, we we take part we are an agent in the internalizing uh, process we interact we internalize this interaction and then we respond to it gets na to we interact with others and then we internalize and then we respond to it that's how we grow that's how we that's how we take on information process the information and respond to the information it's like saying for example pinaka pinaka shallow lang yun yung example would be somebody would uh, go up to you and say dili ko ganahan sa imong buhok no dry kay imong buhok and then uh, this somebody is just a friend for example nas nilabay lang gyud siya ni sulti siya nga dili ko ganahan sa imong buhok dry kay imong buhok and then left so the idea there is na information nga gihatag the information was an, an opinion about dili siya ganahan sa imong buhok because for the reason nga dry kayo that's data that's information given sa imo ha and so you're thinking about what she or he said gi internalize nimo gi process nimo ng information and then you the next thing that you would do is to respond to the information and that is how you would try to change your your hair your hairstyle butangan ba nimo oil or rather you would justify to yourself nga this is this is my hair muna mong gid siya why would i change it for you but the idea there is you've always what you you have responded to the information so that's how we grow no pinaka shallow lang yan na. but that's how we grow with interaction with other people we learn how to be how to behave like a person by interacting with other people so in and uh, according to me the self is not there from birth but it is developed over time from social experiences and activities you know? so uh, to be to be blunt the self is a product of society no mo po na siya, of your of your in social environment that's according to George Herbert Mead and according to Mead na tayo tulo ka uh, activities that uh, help develop the the development of the self you know? we have language play and games language through language you no know? uh, it allows individuals to respond to each other through symbols, gestures, words, and sounds. No? Language conveys others' attitudes, opinions towards a subject or the person. Emotions such as anger, happiness, and confusion are conveyed through language. So, through language, through the learning of language, we actually, through the learning and utility of language, we actually impart ourselves to other people through data through information we make friends through language we we develop relationships through language we maintain relationships through language and if we even break relationships with language and with language we actually have more intricate nga emotions involved with our with our relationship sama na sa inyo hang mga text mates for example no, so you're using language with with your, your with your texting, right? And so the more kaga text, the more mo ga gabalus balus ug text or chat with another person, the more ga the more ga grow in you hang 
relationship. I'm not talking about romantic, no. I'm talking about the general relationship. The more mo mag-chat, the more mo ga-exchange yung information, the more ga-grow, the more ga-stable ang inyong relationship. Why? Because you know things, you know things on their side and you know they would know things from your side and based on that information they would respond if they will if they would want to maintain the relationship right nanamoy jokes nanamoy nanamoy kablo na ka unsa nga unsa ilang ganahan nga humor unsa ganahan lang salida or music and so on and so forth and so it becomes the bridge language becomes the bridge wherein we can impart ourselves to other people and other people can impart themselves as well and so we take that information and maybe at some point we crystallize those information sa atong personality right because diba uh, like begets like so the idea there is pwede po nga nakakay ganahan nga like the personality that they have ganahan ka na type nga characteristic and so you 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 decide consciously or, or unconsciously to incorporate it sa imuhang personality diba so that then we have play no play and games uh, although most likely synonymous but according kang me play would be role play no the uh, the process wherein we take on different roles and we take it to another level no we take on the role of a certain task or a certain person and then we take it to another level so the idea of play is that wala put kay shy rules you can pretend you can actually imagine yourself to be a driver to be a soldier diba mo ni kasagaran dula sa mga bata iro plano ba sila or ang bata nga babae would cook things dira diba magluto-luto siya luto niya is bato and she would sing adobo ni and so you can't you can't argue with a child sige adobo na fine no so that's actually play so that's role play that's taking on the role of and internalizing the role of other putanta of others ana but in terms of games games actually have their own rules no and they have to adhere to the rules so in terms of these three no you can imagine yourself playing and having games labi na sa college for example so sa college we take on the roles of a student sa isa ka subject no and so on and so forth we we, we pretend no or rather we we take on the role dita mo pretend rather but rather we take on the role so sa play class is actually children learning how to how to play a role no more putanta more effectively so inana so they take on the role and they 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 play on the road you know? but sa games na po tayo tawag na rules mangod so since kuwani sila medyo uh, tawag ani gadungan ni sila mas maguna or rather mas maguna ang play and then we have the games which is nai rules so you take on the roles you have the role play sa play and then you have the rules sa games and so na ay sa games mo put good is na ay gitawag na reward and reinforcement that if you follow the rules if you take on your roles and follow the rules and follow the instructions along the way you get certain treats or certain rewards so in ana put like see uh, when you graduate sa high school you take on the role of a college student so that's play right so what does a college student do so sa klase and so on this part we have mostly gahimo og activities or ga, gahuman of tasks so so that's play so the games would uh, in terms of games na putay gitawag nga rules so unsay rules for being a college student first that you have to you have to study you have to do this you have to be more mature and so on and so forth right and so you take on this this role and you follow the rules and at the end of the tunnel you have the reward you know if you did everything right then you get to the second point of being a second year college student and so on and so forth until come graduate and ang pag-graduate would be the reward in itself uy nakagraduate na ko i I've, i've done all of those things nga gipangayo sa kuha and now i am on the next level and so those are games right so in every with everything that we do we are playing games and then we are rewarded for it that's why as i when we are doing things and then we're not rewarded for it offend ta why is that because we did something 
sa uban sa uban cases we get offended because we did something and then we exerted the effort and then at the end of the line what I reward so it would it would hurt the it would hurt the self no? so but in this perspective we have the what we have the language play and games so through through games for example you o- you also but express yourself in ani atong buhaton in ani akong buhaton uh, you o- you also interact with others through language no as to how to do this labi na sa uban tawo nga nakauna dira for example new parents you ask for their advice as to unsaon ako ni how should i do this how should i approach this so ina And then lastly we have kang I think no, although medyo dili you kayo accurate ang perspective ni I think no I'm gonna leave it uh, sa sa screen niyo para at least makakuan mo maka maka take down mo notes no so we discuss ang put na ko ni eh. although I think is not really dili kayo accurate ang iya ang yang claim that uh, the self is biologically determined it might be no na lang gi check point nga na nego that's why we we included this is that uh, according to Isaac we have two personality types the extrovert and the introvert no extroverted people would be people who who putanta who enjoy the company of uh, of large groups no and introverts we have what we have people who what who who are not shy they are not really shy but they actually enjoy the company of a smaller group of people especially uh, one on one no so in anak nga in anak nga cases no extroverts recharge they gain ener- energy by being with people introverts recharge by by what by being alone and so they they gain energy from being alone and so they expand it through uh, one-on-one conversation where in where in they expand the energy so extroverts put uh, they gain energy through sa other people and then that that's how they operate you know but extroverts momon nakabati put sa educational system at is that must praise ng extroverts is introverts you know where it should be balanced because not everyone has the personality of an extrovert. Dili tanan musaya ug mukanta dra tubangan sa klase. But no, we should have what you should have a different mutanta criteria for judging uh, assessments. But anyway, so that and according kang I think mo puding na the dili na kayo nga accurate no part where in according sa kang I think people who are born weak, no? most likely develop to be introverts because uh, weak sila physically and so they're socially dampened and so sensitive ilang lawas sa punishment and rewards and so they rather doubt they'd rather uh, become extroverts uh, rather introverts and uh, be left alone while extroverts now are born uh, physically strong and so uh, must externally stimulated sila and so that no they grow up to be extroverts to be uh, fun loving people and so that in in Isaac's butanta description medyo medyo negative ang connotation sa introverts is that they are physically weak and then uh, sensitive weak and sensitive people which is actually not accurate because not all introverts are weak and sensitive people so but uh, na shape point dira that uh, Our personality has what has a social aspect, and that is what we call the social aspect of the parental upbringing. Kung sa kapag padako has has a has a sort or degree of impact as to who you will be or how you behave as a as a as an individual. And so that ends our topic on social.